We are finishing an extraordinary year. 2020 would go in history as the year when the world faced its biggest challenge since the Second World War and deepest recession since the Great Depression. This crisis teaches us that we are as strong as our weakest link. And for this reason, I want to welcome what China has done to combat the virus so far as a result of very determined domestic measures, the Chinese economy is going to be one of the very few that would finish 2020 with positive economic growth. We project 1.9% growth for this year and 8.2% for next year. We, may, we must be determined to underpin the road to recovery with continuous strong policy actions. Our main message here is do not withdraw fiscal policy support and monetary policy support prematurely. China has been strong in early action and also in continuing this action until we see the health crisis in the rear view mirror. And also China has recognized that while this crisis hits everybody, it is low-income countries that are suffering the most. And I want to express our gratitude uh, from the IMF for China's contribution to our concessional lending capacity. As a result of it, 47 of the 81 countries that have benefited from financial support from the IMF are low-income countries are benefiting from concessional finance. China also joined us in extending debt relief to our 29 poorest members. It is very important that we move forward with the same determination to help low-income countries. And in that regard, the G20 debt service suspension initiative that China joined remains very important and I urge all creditors everywhere to embrace this initiative. I look forward to the uh, common framework for debt resolution that G20 is working on uh, and uh, I look forward to engaging with China as we find solutions to countries that are suffering under the burden of debt. Debt restructuring in some cases is a necessity.